Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This show's Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, man, listen, thank y'all for liking the video. We're almost at my goal of 100K. Make sure y'all like this video for me because literally it helps me out. I don't ask y'all for money. I don't ask for anything at all, although y'all can drop some if you want to. However, I never beg for that. But the likes, I need those anyway. So the last video I made on none other than Hove Jay-Z, he had pretty much came out and got on a lawyer's behind because that lawyer was pretty much trying to, you know, taking that case against Jay-Z for the S assault. Uh, and pretty much Jay-Z was saying this is uh, all for profit. All this guy wants his money. All the lady wants his money. Uh, and he was shaping it as if it was a money play, right? So with them shaping it like it was a money play, of course, you have people that's coming out saying, hey, listen, why is it a civil lawsuit and not a criminal lawsuit? These people keep doing uh, uh, civil lawsuits because they're trying to get money. So everybody's playing that money play. Well, now it does look like that lawyer has actually strike back at Jay-Z uh, and pretty much he explains how no, 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 no. This isn't just a money play uh, because originally Shorty didn't want money. She wanted some other form of mediation. Now, the other form of mediation, I don't know what's in the blue hell uh, he was talking about. However, I'm going to read y'all what the lawyer Tony Busby said. And also, let me just tell y'all, Tony Busby is a Texas lawyer and also, he's a very reputable Texas lawyer uh, that don't play no games with nobody. I, from what I've heard from other lawyers, they say Tony Busby is the real deal. And I guess we're going to see if he's the real deal after all these uh, filings that he's done against Diddy and filings that he's done against Jay-Z and see if he's able to win some of those, right? Because at the end of the day, uh, money talks, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, so... If we take it to it, uh, Tony Busby pretty much came out and said he's not scared of Jay-Z. He will not be intimidated. Uh, he said, regarding the Jay-Z case and his efforts to silence my clients, Mr. Carter previously denied being the one who sued me and my firm. He filed his frivolous case under a pseudonym. And if y'all don't know what a pseudonym is, a pseudonym is like a name that's like a... Uh, uh, Oh, give me one second. Yeah, a pseudonym is like it's a name, but it's like a hidden name in a way. Like, actually, you know what? Let me get the uh, direct definition of it because I want y'all to actually be able to know this. So we're going to go to school real fast. No, I just can't give me a second. Here. I want to actually. Uh, school. So a pseudonym is a fictitious name, especially uh, one used by an author. Uh, so. He tried to sue. So Busby is pretty much coming out saying that Jay-Z denied trying to sue his firm. Right. Obviously, his firm, he was going to explain later what he tried to sue him about. And he tried to sue him under another name. So, you know how Drake just sued Kendrick, not Kendrick Lamar. Drake just sued like UMG Universal Music Group. And then he did it under a uh, another company's name. But if you look who owns the company. It's Drake, right? So in a way, that's a pseudonym, but it's not really a pseudonym because it's not a fictitious name. It's a real name, a real LLC. So it's it's kind of confusing, I know. Anyways, if we continue, it says, he filed his frivolous case under a pseudonym. What he fails to say in his recent statement is my firm sent his lawyer a demand letter on behalf of an alleged victim that the victim never demanded a penny from him. Instead, she only sought a confidential mediation. So what, what, what this means is the lady that tried to sue him, even though it's a civil lawsuit right now, he said originally she didn't want any. Because you got to remember, when this lady first filed this lawsuit, uh, it, it, it was for Diddy. And then it was like in Celebrity B. Right. So I don't think he was even named in it originally. Right. But. Uh, he must have turned that down or actually not turned it down, but tried to sue this lawyer for mentioning him with it because under a pseudonym name, allegedly, that's what the lawyer is pretty much saying. So if he tried to do that and now he and then also refused that the confidential mediation, we know confidential things could be confidential, but then stuff could actually come out as well. He probably just didn't want to be involved with that literally at all, period, point blank. However, uh, it looks like he denied that and then tried to sue them. Uh, and then also it comes out and it says uh, she didn't ask for a penny. So she didn't ask for any money at first. At least this is what it, he's actually claiming, right? Uh, then it continues and it says, uh, hold on. Uh, Since I sent the letter on her behalf, Mr. Carter has not only sued me, but he has also tried to bully and harass me and this plaintiff. So I don't know how uh, Jay-Z's actually tried to bully 
either the lawyer and the plaintiff, but I'm guessing that'll be something that'll have to come out at like a later day at a later case so we can see what he means, right? Because I don't think he's just, him as a lawyer, I don't think he would just say something and not be able to back it up, uh, even though he only have to back it up if he says it in court. This is just on the internet right now. This is just on Twitter. There's an actual lawsuit, but I don't think in a lawsuit he's saying that he's been bullied, right? I guess we'll have to see when a lawsuit actually comes out. And then it continues and it says, his conduct has had the opposite impact. So he says, hey, he's trying to bully me and her and, and get us to take it down and not go through with the lawsuit. And he didn't want to have the confidential uh, mediation, mediation, but it's actually had a reverse effect. Instead of us being unemboldened, we she is emboldened. I'm very proud of her uh, resolve. It says, as far as the allegations in the complaint file, we will let the fouling speak for itself and will litigate the facts in courts, not in the media. So they're being real with y'all, man. This Tony Busby dude, like I told y'all, I've been hearing that he's official. But also at the same time, we also know that Jay Z, aka Ho, aka probably the greatest uh, businessman rapper, not rapper, but the greatest businessman rapper, businessman that was a rapper. Uh, in, in, the, in the industry, right? I mean, I think he, what is he? He's probably the richest rapper that's ever existed as far as businessman wise. Uh, like I say, the, the, as far as talent wise, it's always debatable. You know, I always choose Wayne, like I said, last video. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this lawyer is not the guy to actually play with. But Jay-Z is not the guy to play with. It's just, it's wild seeing Jay-Z inside of this position because we all look at Jay-Z as just this super upstanding, uh, um, you know, low-key business guy that just dominates at every Everything that he does uh, also uh, makes things happen for other people as well. Uh, you know, what a play, pay Wayne tax, just all type of stuff, right? So, uh, but then of course you have those people that doesn't like Jay Z at all. They hate his guts. You know, what I'm talking about, and, and, and those people are all in line. Who is it? What's her name? Uh, Jaguar Wright. Uh, say a lot of stuff about him. She actually said that Jay Z's worse than uh, worse than P Diddy. So, what she means by that, who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Uh, but. Until then, uh, like I said, it's just a quick video that I did want to go over with y'all just to, uh, you know, just to speak on it. And also, I think there's some more details. Uh, I think the Tony Busby guy actually came out and said something else as well. But let me go and double check uh, because I know Meek Mill said something just like Meek Mill came to the defense of uh, of, of P. Diddy. He's now actually came to the defense of Jay-Z and he's blaming the media. He's also blaming programming uh, for this as well. And I'm going to actually show y'all what. Give me just a second here. Yeah, I'm actually show y'all what Meek Mill has to say. Now, does I do I think Meek Mill's opinion makes anything better? No. Why? Because all the Internet does is literally roast Meek Mill. I, I, at this point, bro. You know, actually, knows a freedom of speech. Everybody has a freedom of speech. Everybody has a freedom to say whatever they want to say. But I'm going to read y'all what Meek Mill had to actually say. Let me actually get to the screen first because it'd be the wrap ups. It'd be all type of wow stuff, right? Okay, cool. So Meek Mill said the goal is to start false narratives to create a matrix web. What the, does he mean by that? Create a false narrative to create a matrix web. It's already a matrix, right? It's already a big web that's been started way before Jay-Z, way before P. Diddy. Uh, but I, I do understand kind of what he's saying. Uh, then it says, if you can control the storyline, you can control the matrix. Okay, that's a that's a true statement. If you can control the storyline, you can control the matrix. Okay, because the, the matrix is in a part of the storyline. Okay, Meek. Uh, and then he continues and he says, American media is totally unbelievable. I see Jay-Z blank a 13-year-old girl 300 times scrolling. It's called programming. Okay. Let's break this down. First of all, you can say it's programming because you're seeing it over and over and over, but it's probably just on your algorithm or you follow news sites and media sites that actually all post it. Whenever news actually comes up and actually gets broken, uh, it ends up being posted a lot because it's literally the news. So if you follow 20 blogs or 20 news sites, you're going to see it over and over and over because you're following the pages that's actually posting it, right? 
uh, you know, we own something called the internet. And with the internet, you literally have the ability to see what you want to see and don't see what you want to see. You don't want to see this post a thousand times. You unfollow who's posting it and boom, poof, it disappears, right? Uh, but I do understand what you mean when you say it could be programmed. You can feel like, hey, maybe there's some type of underworking of people uh, that saying, hey, post this, hey, post that, hey, post this, hey, post it. And I'm not going to say it is or it isn't. I'm not a part of nothing like that. Of course, I'm in the media and I post whatever, uh, it, you know, is popping and stuff that I want to make pop as well. Uh, but for something like this, this is just huge news because this is like one of the biggest rappers of all time. Uh, probably the I, I would say the big, the best businessman that was once a rapper of all time uh, that, that this is actually happening to. So, of course, it's going to break the news, break the media and stuff like that. But what you also have to understand is if that Busby guy is telling the truth, there was a confidentiality uh, mediation thing that could have taken place uh, in, in which I guess some communications could have been had and it wasn't about a penny or nothing. But that also could have been a trap as well. And I understand Jay-Z not going to do that because there's a potential that that was a trap as well. And they were going to come out at a later date with a filing or a lawsuit and say, well, uh, there was a confidentiality meeting that actually took place and and then da -da 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 -da, all this BS like that. So who knows, right? All I know is Jay-Z is when it comes to business and making moves and stuff like that, full faith in them. This Busby guy, I hear a lot about him. A lot of people that have a full faith in him as well. So it's just two hard heads going at each other, right? But anyway, so how do y'all feel about what Meek Mill had to say? And also, how do y'all feel about what the lawyer response to uh, Jay-Z was? Let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.